welcome to another daily tea how you guys are doing out there corona and quarantining sorry for the doom and gloom but my video today will be very informative and have great value so let's get started shall we here are the 10 reasons why the IRS will skip you in other words you will not get the $1,200 stimulus check reason number one this is the largest reason. If you filed individual or married, but filing separately with a joint bank account, the bank will reject this type of direct deposit. And the same information if you file jointly married, but have an individual bank account. So your direct deposit must be a joint bank account, or if you filed a form 888, that allows the IRS to direct deposit each $1,200 check into each account separately. Number two, if you did not put your banking information on your tax return, obviously you would not receive a $1,200 check. But good news is that the IRS have a portal. I will put the link down below. This IRS site will allow you to submit your bank information and select that you have not added your bank information on your 2018 or 2019 tax return. Three, if you put on your tax return for your refund to go to any payday loan company, you will not get the $1,200 stimulus because IRS does not have your personal bank information to send a direct deposit. They will not send your $1,200 to a payday loan company. If this category is you, then run over to the IRS site to give them your personal bank account information to avoid this disaster. Number four, if you do not have a social security number and if your newborn does not have a social security number, you will not get the $500 per child stimulus check or the $1,200 stimulus check. Number five, if you are a non-documented worker, such as illegal in the United States, you will not get a check. Number six, if you are behind in your child support payments and arrears, you will not get a stimulus check. The $1,200 will go directly to the parent who has custody. Number seven, if you did not file your 2018 or 2019 tax return, or if you are SSI or Social Security Disability or Welfare, you will not get it either. So run over to the IRS portal now. Number eight, if you claim your parents on your tax return, you will not get the stimulus check. Number nine, if you are a college student age 17 or older, and if you are claimed by someone else as a dependent, you will not get it either. If you are a parent of a 16 year old or under, then you will get the $500 for each child. And lastly, but not least, number 10. If you are now unemployed, but you have made way too much money in 2018 and 2019, you would not get the check. So there you have it. If you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment. Also, these are not all the reasons. And please subscribe, share, like this video, and I'll see you on the next Daily Tea. Peace.